Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we are going to be looking at the Carrier Infinity 5 ton variable speed fan coil, the FE4 BNB 006L00. I'm going to tell you all about this fan coil, some of its features, the benefits, also tell you about some of the duct work that we did on this system and what we matched it with outside. Um, so um, also stay tuned for the video that I do on the outside condenser. And as always, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Um, there's a lot of new exciting products by Carrier coming up that I'll be doing videos on. So make sure you check those out. And uh, if you need any information about these units, you can obviously contact us at uh, 714-526-6368. We are in the Orange County, California area or visit our website at www.albertair.com. So let's get right into this. This is the Carrier 5-ton Infinity Variable Speed Fan Coil, the FE4 BNB006L00. It is horizontal in an attic. We have it on stands down here. Um, underneath it, we have a drain pan that encompasses the whole length of the fan coil. We have our drain lines. We have the primary drain is right here with the trap and that goes down to a drain. Um, we have our secondary drain right here and that will go outside. Um, and then we have a kill switch on the pan right over there. So if any water hits the pan, it will kill the system. Um, one of the interesting things about this fan coil in particular, it is modular. So that means if you have a very tight space to get it into, we can actually take it apart right here and separate it and get it into that space and then reassemble it. So it does make for installation uh, to a little easier. Um, sometimes you don't have the height to get it into an attic, uh, so you can take it apart and put it back together. So it makes it very nice. Um, it does have an, a uh, variable speed blower motor in it, which is an ECM blower motor that's communicating. And that is in this compartment down here. And uh, so that makes for the variable speeds when matched with the variable speed heat pump condenser outside. So it will ramp up and down on different speeds to hit all different levels. Um, it's very quiet um, in the attic. It's about 54 decibels. So very, very quiet up here. Then obviously when you duct it properly, it'll be even quieter when it pulls from the return air grills. Um, so it does need a dedicated 240 volt circuit. Um, a minimum of a, or a maximum 15 amp breaker in the panel, a two pole breaker with, uh, we ran on this one number 12 wire cause it was about 45 feet away from the panel. And that goes to this disconnect switch right here on the front of the unit, um, which is a 220 switch and that powers this fan coil. Um, we also have an iWave air purifier that we put inside the blower compartment, which is mounted in here. So we do have filter grills with filters in them that will catch the big stuff. And the iWave air purifier puts out positive and negative ions anytime the system is on heat, cool, or fan mode. And we'll push those out through the ductwork into the rooms and attach the particles and kill them. So it gives you just a little better um, air quality in the house, cleaner air, fresher air. Um, highly recommend that. It is maintenance free, so you don't have to change a filter or anything. Uh, it actually cleans itself and it works in conjunction with your standard paper filters. On this, we have the uh, MERV 13 uh, paper filters and then we have the iWave. So it's going to be a very clean air coming out of the system and uh, it's very um, cost friendly as well compared to, say, uh, and, uh, an air purifier that has a filter you need to change where those can get really expensive. Um, also on this system, we did all new duct work. So before this system was here, it was a gas furnace system with the AC condenser outside. Um, they wanted to go away from that. So we ended up doing the heat pump system and we settled on the top tier carrier system because they wanted something extremely quiet, extremely efficient, and they wanted it ducted properly. Obviously, you want to be able to deliver that air properly to the house to heat and cool it properly. Compared to the old system, we changed a lot. These are all new R8 flex ducts. We have two returns. We have one large 18 inch duct that is for the upstairs that pulls out about 1500 CFMs of air out of the upstairs area. So that was a very hot area, very hard to keep cold in the summers. Now it's pulling out plenty of air. And then this duct right here is a 12 inch and that goes downstairs. So we're pulling air out of both areas, up and down. Um, they're very well insulated. 
You can see the supply or the, the return plenum right here that those come off of. On the other side of the system over here, we have our supply plenum. We have four ducts coming off of that. We have a uh, 214 inch and 212 inch. So plenty of airflow. Um, before the ducts were pretty small in size. They also have, uh, there was some asbestos. There was some broken ducts. It was really hard to get good balance of air in this house. So when we redesigned the system, we made sure that we sized them properly and we got the air where they needed it um, and, and delivered it in a way that is comfortable for them. So. Um, like I said before, the upstairs was a big problem. And there's a lot of ducks in this house. There's 16 ducks. So we wanted to make sure that when we did the new duct work, it would flow properly, it would be balanced, and they would be happy when they walked upstairs and felt the cold air like they've never felt before. That's a big deal. Um, so it's pretty easy to fix a system that is, that is old with broken ducks, obviously. But if you do it right, then, then everyone will be happy. The system will be happy. It's gonna breathe properly. It's gonna be very efficient to deliver that airflow and the customer will be happy because it you know they can cool and heat their house and they'll be comfortable and because it's a variable speed system it has a lot of options for us when we do the setup process to give it more air or less air um, we can do humidity control with this system it is matched with the carrier infinity variable speed condenser heat pump condenser outside that is 75 speeds so that will be 75 speeds for heat and cooling and then we have the carrier infinity control thermostat we matched with that and that's what ties everything together um, they also get some great rebates um, uh, check out my other video where i'll be going over the rebates that this uh this system got um, and uh, i hope you like this video let me know if you have any uh, questions leave a comment in the section below i'll be happy to answer those for you um, again, we are in Orange County, California, so if you'd like to give us a call, 714-526-6368, or you can visit us at www.albertair.com. Please like and subscribe to this video. Thank you for watching.